Okay, um, here are a few songs about uh, the sun in German, in English, and in French. Uh, the light of the sun. Um, in this video, I would like to show the picture, uh, the architecture as I envision it at this moment in time, and it might change, of course, but this is. The, the broad view of the totality, uh, what I call the process of God, and if it had to be defined formally, uh, I would say that, that the process of, of God is the totality of being, the whole of being, becoming conscious of itself. Um, and uh, I have been sharing uh, my documents over the past the past few months but actually especially over the past few weeks and this is the last formal document that I have to share namely uh, a document which is just a, a copy of, of the structure of, of the works of Hegel basically and I have many other documents to share that I, I will uh, uh, as soon as they are uh, ready so to speak and I keep working uh, to, 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 to the best of my limited human capabilities but um, yeah, this document is the last one, which is just a copy of the structure of Hegel, although I have completed it and, and adjusted it and improved. I wouldn't say that I have improved it, but uh, made it up to date and more modern and more intelligible by adding the category. So it's, it's not new in a sense that I have, I have already shared these information, but here it's structured in an aesthetic way uh, in a more um, appealing way, so it enables to see the picture, the broad picture, the broad view, and I will I will show this, uh, and and I will comment. I don't know how long this video is going to last. I have not prepared notes. I comment. Uh, I comment. Um, I, I improvise in a way, but uh, yeah, you will you will see the broad picture. Okay, so here are. The, the divisions of the Encyclopedia der Philosophischen Wissenschaften. So you can see erster Teil, uh, die Logik, zweiter Teil, die Naturphilosophie, and dritter Teil, die Philosophie des Geistes. So I will, uh, I will zoom closer, but this is the, the, the totality of, of being in a way, and I will explain. So here in yellow, just this part, not the yellow here, but th this part is the science of logic. And if uh, you are, you may not be aware, but I will not uh, detail fully what the science of logic is. To simplify to the utmost, it is the, the mind of God. It is divided in three parts. I will talk about this later. So it's the, the mind of God, one might say. Why is there a God? Why is there a God? Why does he think? Uh, these are the kind of questions that I will not answer here, but I simplify really to the utmost. So this part is the mind of God, basically. Uh, the parts in green here and here, 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 and there, this is nature. And I will zoom and get closer to see the, the full picture. So this is the, the world of time, space, uh, energy, matter, movement, and, and all the laws and, and the, the, the categories of physics, chemistry, biology, basically. So here in yellow, we have the mind of God, which is the logique, the, 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 the logique, the logic. Here in green, uh, this is the philosophy of nature. And the philosophy des Geistes, which is the philosophy of Geist, uh, which can be translated variously as the soul, uh, the consciousness, the mind, and the spirit. The philosophy of Geist is divided into the pink and purple uh, parts. So it's, uh, these are, this part is in pink and purple. Uh, okay, I struggle a little bit. The pink and purple, uh, it's the, the subjective of Geist, which includes um, Anthropology, which is the, the, the theory of the soul, uh, the phenomenology des Geistes, the phenomenal appearance of, 
of Geist, which is the theory of consciousness, and deep psychology. And here in the middle, this is uh, their objective Geist, so objective Geist, what we could call objective spirit, and I will br briefly detail, but it's just to say that in the middle, uh, these are the determinations of, of objective or geist, and here up top we have uh, the determinations of absolute or geist, which is absolute spirit, namely art, religion, and philosophy. So I repeat, I simplify here in yellow this is logic, uh, the mind of God, all the green, uh, clear and, and darker green, this is the philosophy of nature, and the philosophy of geist is divided. Uh, in three parts uh, subjective spirits it's pink and purple objective spirits if we had to say it's blue uh, clear blue orange and uh, yellow and here in the top we have absolute spirit so god if we had to define formally this is just the formal definition god is the totality of being unfolding determining itself, developing itself, evolving in a way, uh, uh, b b becoming a process, uh, which at first, it's not necessarily a chronological, it's more of a logical process, is a, a pure thought, which is also being, and why is thought identical with being? Here these are subtleties that I will not go into, into the detail, I just simplify. So here's the mind of God, which exteriorizes itself to bring forth, uh, give birth to, create. These are modes of talking in, in, in uh, Vorstellung's uh, determination, determination of representation. Give, the mind of God gives rise or gives birth to or brings forth nature, and we will see what nature is, and out of nature, from a chronological perspective, which is not the proper one, but I will not go into too much complexity, gives rise to to Geist, which is soul, consciousness, mind, and spirit, which is actually the mind of, of humans, basically. Consciousness is here. So uh, nature becomes conscious of itself through the consciousness that man has of nature. And man, in the realm of consciousness, can reflect upon nature and uh, bring forth institutions, exteriorize his, his mind and his spirit in various institutions, and this is the realm of objective spirit, and become um, aware of himself and of, of God and of the totality of being through the, express, uh, through, through the expressions of art, religion, and philosophy, which is the process coming back into itself. This is how God, in a way, acquires a complete and full knowledge of, of himself through the whole process. And uh, I, will, I will zoom to see the categories, but here I just make a... a, a a brief, um, a brief um, comment. Uh, this presents uh, the totality of being. Uh, everything that has ever been, is, or ever will be, for a very simple reason. But I have decided a few, a couple of weeks ago, to to be me, and it implies not trying to be uh, the perfect logician like a. The writings of Hegel, but to, to use metaphors to simplify, because this is what I have needed, I, I, I needed over the past uh, four and a half years to, to make things intelligible to myself, but I thought that my own words, my own metaphors, my own images were not good enough, but actually I've realized that I cannot share my ideas and make my ideas in the, in the ordinary sense, my, my uh, Denkbestimmungen, intelligible if I do not simplify and and, 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 and lower down the complexity because I myself, I, I needed to, to, to simplify for myself. So why uh, is it the totality of being? Because here at the beginning of the, the, logic, the logic, we have being and nothing. So either there is nothing and uh, there, nothing is here at the very beginning, the logical beginning of logic. And also in religion, there is a religion whose most fervent believers uh, the, the hardcore Buddhists believe that there is nothing. So at, at, at some level, the, the most radical Buddhists believe themselves that they do not exist. So why is there being rather than nothing? Well, there is nothing. Nothing is 
uh, here in the science of logic and uh, here uh, in uh, the most radical forms of Buddhism. So th th the possibility that there might be nothing has been envisioned. But if we say there is nothing, it's self-contradictory because we predicate being to nothing. So nothing is not nothing because either it is being or it is identical to itself. So if nothing is nothing, it's not nothing because it is itself. It seems like a stupid uh, um, uh, 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 so, so, so sophistry, but actually it's very important. The reason why there is being and not nothing is precisely because nothing uh, is self-contradictory in a way. So there is being. Being, um, at first, it's not necessarily chronological, but at first is identity with itself, relation to self, immediacy. And being and thought in the beginning have the same determination or rather lack of determination. That's why thought and being are identical, but they are, they are nonetheless uh, different. So they, they, they separate themselves from one another in a sense. So being and nothing, um, no, sorry, uh, it's, it's also true of being and nothing, but uh, thought and being, ontology and logic in a way, uh, are in a, in a reciprocal process of determination and this movement, this uh, reciprocal interaction is what uh, gives uh, God, basically, the consciousness of himself because God is this, this, this process of ontology thinking itself, being thinking itself. So, uh, being and, and thought are identical but different and they interact and they sometimes they diverge and they converge and they they enter into relationship and this is what brings forth the whole process of logic and here i do not uh, I, I must admit that i do not understand how or or why or when the 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 logic makes itself nature in the official uh, we, I will just uh, br briefly comment. So, uh, uh, I, the, the, the logic, if I had to simplify to the utmost, it contains the totality of all the determinations of thought, the determinations, laws of thought, which are called categories, reflections, bestimmungen, and concepts in their pure abstraction. But they are not only determinations of thought, it's not just empty thought, these are also the determinations of being of what is, of, of the world, the universe, if one, one wanted to say. But at this point, there, there are no universe yet. So, yeah. And in the official narrative, the, the, the story that uh, mankind, at least in the scientifically uh, developed uh, modern countries, the, the story that mankind tells itself through the voice of its scientists is that the Big Bang uh, this would be here, the, the beginning of cosmology is here, that in the beginning uh, uh, the universe emerged out of a very tiny uh, point where all the energy of the universe was contracted and it expanded and, and time and space and the, the four fundamental forces of physics, the, the, the atom, the energy emerged, etc. So the, the story that atheistic science tells is uh, in the beginning there was the Big Bang, uh, physics, chemistry, biology, so physics would be here. I simplify really to the utmost chemistry would be there and biology would be here. So the official story is that uh, broadly 13.7 uh, billion years ago, the physical universe emerged. There are hypotheses saying that before that there was another, there were other universes or maybe there are multiverse, there are many universes or maybe that it's a bubble a bursting, there are bubble universes. So there are many hypotheses, but the official story is the Big Bang. So physics and chemistry emerged in the first, uh, it can be the first second, sometimes it's the first um, minutes, so sometimes it's the first uh, uh, 380,000 years, the time that the universe had to cool. So it, there, there are many uh, physical events which occurred, which eventually gave rise to um, the, 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 the gas, the, the the gravitational uh, uh, attraction of, 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 of gas, which brought forth uh, stars and planets eventually and galaxies um, united together by re reciprocal gravita gravitational attraction, etc., etc. And uh, that's how the, the, the galaxies with the, the, the solar systems or the, the, 
the, the, the, the, the stars and the, the, the planets and the exoplanets, etc., etc., have been formed as the official narrative. And broadly speaking, four billion years ago, I simplified to the utmost, on a planet Earth in the solar system, in the Milky Way, the galaxy of the Milky Way, uh, emerged life, which is self-reproducing, uh, a self-reproducing chemical process, and after a process of broadly four and a half of uh, four billion uh, four billion years, life uh, became conscious of itself through Homo sapiens, and uh, language and thought and, and and consciousness emerged out of nature. So I, I simplified really the story uh, to the utmost. This is the official narrative that we are told in. Uh, Western and, and uh, not only Western but in uh, modern countries in a way. Okay, so uh, yeah, so the, the official story of uh, science begins here. But the scientists who are here, they have a consciousness and they reflect upon nature. They they are aware that uh, nature is rational. We we know this since at least the 17th century and even before with the laws of Kepler and and even Copernicus and then Kepler, but then Galileo and Newton, especially that nature can be translated mathematically. There, there is mathematical rationality. So it's not the, the metaphysics of the, the, the physicists. So uh, physics would be here because it's a science, but it's also a mode of consciousness and thinking. So the physicists, they are not very clear because they are anti-metaphysician, but they are nonetheless claim that nature is rational. So it, it's not very clear. So they, as far as I understand, they say that nature is mathematically structured, but mathematics is a branch of logic, or logic is a branch of mathematics, depending on the metaphysics of the anti-metaphysical scientists. So this is not very clear, but whatever. So they, they acknowledge, that they, in, in a way, they, 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 don't, they don't say that there was logic in the beginning and logic made itself nature, but actually the official story says that nature appeared, namely the, the cosmos came out of nothing, this is the Big Bang, and was spontaneously mathematically and logically structured. The laws of, of physics appeared with the Big Bang and the constant, the gravitational constant, the, the constant of Planck, the speed of light, the, the, the constant of physics uh, appeared uh, with uh, the, the cosmos according to the, to the official narrative. So even for an atheistic scientist, this view that logic and nature uh, are united, it can make sense, of course. Uh, I mean, of course, it's not um, speculative logic, but uh, uh, it, 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 it can make sense. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's what the reason there is being is here. The reason why there is not nothing or maybe there is nothing, but it's either here in the doctrine of being or here with the Buddhists. There is nature and uh, nature. There might be multiple dimensions, multiple universes, so that would be here. I will zoom later, but here I, I come on the broad picture. So if there are various universes, this would be in cosmology. If there are uh, the, the big bounce, the big crunch, the big freeze, uh, whatever, whatever, it's in cosmology. So the multiverse or the, the, the anthropic principle, maybe there are an infinite number of universe and the only universe that we are aware of is this one because uh, in order for a universe to come into consciousness, there has to be uh, the conditions which enable the bringing forth of life, etc. So even if there were an, an infinite number of, of, of universe, a bubble universe, that our universe is a bubble within a bubble within whatever, the kind of, of, of fairy tales that the modern rationalistic physicists tell themselves, this would be contained here. So that's why it's the totality of being, because one can envision many possibility and I, I just have two remarks to make uh, here in the realm of psychology so the consciousness but actually human consciousness but any consciousness there is the category of imagination so all the imagination the creativity the fantasies the the, the, the delusions maybe the dreams even dreams is uh, uh, in anthropology di Zelle somewhere so dreams are here Imagination is here. So all the imaginable things, whatever level of reality, of ontological reality are proclaiming here is uh, the imagination of a poet. Is it real? Is uh, the, Are the fairy tales, are they real? Uh, video games, it's a form of, of creativity. Is it real? Uh, the, 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 um, the metaverse. So here we have 
the multiverse and here uh, might, maybe we have the metaverse which would be uh, in technology technology and, and creativity so uh, all the, the the possible imagination of, of, of humans or, or non-humans or post-humans or we can envision a mixture of, of biology and uh, here we have technology I think so uh, technologically upgraded uh, post-humans, transhumanist, or, or, or non-human, whatever, we can imagine this, and, and they would still have imagination, and they would still exist within a physical universe. Uh, we can imagine that uh, we are living in a, in a computer program, a, a computer simulation, that actually the world, like in the movie The Matrix, is, is controlled by super intelligent entities, and that we are living in a computer simulation. Here we have technology, the robots they, they would exist within within time they would maybe they would not be biological creatures but they would exist within physics and and the delusion would be a computer program so here I, I caricature but actually it's simply to illustrate that the totality of all that has ever been is or ever will be is contained within this conceptual frame and one last possibility what if there were other dimensions which were not physical uh, other realms, as it's sometimes called, other uh, planes of existence. And this would be a question that religions or eventually philosophy would answer. So if there were non-physical dimensions, uh, astral planes of existence, this is contained in religion. So all the past religions, present and future religions that may be invented until the end or whatever, they are contained in religion. So. I have taken a lot of time, but these are the kind of thoughts that I've had over the past uh, many years. They need to, 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 to understand, uh, to understand uh, the encyclopedia, maybe. So everything that, that has been, is or ever will be, is contained potentially in this conceptual frame, humans or non-humans. If there are extraterrestrial creatures, they live somewhere in space. If there are robots who control the planet, this is technology. If there are uh, trans-dimensional entities, uh, whatever, they, they are religious in a way because the, the non-physical dimensions, it's the, the realm of religion. Uh, if there is nothing, it's here and with the Buddhist. So really, the totality of, of being is present, is, 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 is uh, contained conceptually within the frame of the encyclopedia. That's what I had to say. And uh, also, that's why, I'm, I'm not sure that one has to laugh or I don't know, but that's why the philosophy of Hegel, not the German philosopher necessarily, but the, 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 the philosophy of the encyclopedia, I want to say, cannot be refuted because all philosophies that have ever been invented are being invented and ever will be invented until the end of, 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 of whatever they are contained in philosophy so the, 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 there is a uh, how should i explain this this is why uh, uh, being in a way is what it is if i if i wanted to say and this is the, the formal presentation of the totality of being Okay, so now I will make a short pause and I will zoom, uh, uh, go closer to, to show the various uh, moments. Okay, so here is the first part of the system of being, the first part of the process of God. I've made numerous videos about the structure and the content and the explanation and the clarification and I, as long as i can publish video i will keep using the, the the categories of logic because this is the way i think and this is the way reality is structured but here the first tile the first part is the logic and which is divided in itself in the doctrine of being essence and concept this is immediacy mediation return to immediacy through the mediation of the mediation so this is a, a relation uh, to self relation to another which is the reflex the reflection of being and return to relate to to, to to an infinite relation to self if i had to define very simply so this is the first part this is the mind of god i will not make uh, not even a short lecture on logic i have made uh, I have published uh, 
several hours of content over the last few days where I talk. Uh, formally, it's not enough, but I, I showed a formal presentation with all the categories, reflections, bridging women and concepts. So I will not talk much longer, but here is, if I had to simplify, the mind of God, which is the structure of thought, that's why it's logic, but also the structure of being, that's why speculative logic is ontotheological. Onto comes from a Greek word which means what is, or the, the, the being of what is, so ontology, it is, the, the, these are the determinations of being in the broad sense of whatever is. Um, theo comes from Greek means God or the divine, so it's uh, ontology, theology, namely a, a, a rational discourse on, on God or, or the divine, and logic, that's speech, discourse, and reason, so it's uh, being, God, and thought. And, and they are differentiated, but nonetheless identical. So the Wissenschaft der Logik is ontotheological. Yeah. Okay, now I will switch to the philosophy of nature. Okay, so here I will not uh, talk too, too long uh, neither because, so here, uh, yeah, we have Zeit of Teil, the Naturphilosophie, which is uh, to simplify the, 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 the world of time and space, uh, matter and movement, energy, the laws of physics, etc. And here, in uh, this kind of green, uh, A, B, C, these are the, the, the bestimmt heighten, the determinacies, the division, the distinction, the, the, the parts of the first Abteilung of the Encyclopedia, which is called Mechanic. And here in clear green, I have added uh, the modern categories, uh, the modern division of physics, um, and geometry, uh, ma mathematics is contained within logic, but geometry is uh, the study of space, basically. So um, it, it's contained in, in Raumann's site. We have Euclidean and non-Euclidean geometry. So that, that would be here, in a way. Uh, relativity, which is the, the physical... Um, uh, the physical branch of physics which deals with uh, time space basically and, and gravity etc uh, uh, but the, 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 the dimension and the structure of, of, of the cosmos this is the theory developed by Einstein uh, here we would have quantum physics and at this moment uh, relativity and quantum physics so the the, the very large very big um, uh, aggregates, uh, galaxies, clusters, super galaxies, uh, planets, etc., black holes, etc., et and the, the, the tiniest um, uh, the particles, uh, uh, atoms, etc., uh, at, 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 at the, 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 the tiniest level, they are incompatible. So uh, this is one of the debates uh, that modern physicists have, the incompatibility of the theory of relativity and quantum physics. But yeah. Um, but there are theories being elaborated to try to unify all levels of physics, all levels of physics. So here we would have quantum physics, mechanics, namely the study of, of movement, the movement of matter, the movement of physical object, and nuclear physics. Uh, absolute mechanic, this would contain astrophysics, uh, the study of, of the heavenly bodies, of, of, of galaxies, uh, stars, clusters, planets, etc. Astronomy, uh, it's, it's mixed with, with astrophysics, but here this, this would be more of the, the, the study of the solar system in a way. That's not how modern physicists define it, but astrophysics would be the entire cosmos. Astronomy would be uh, just the solar system, our solar system, because consciousness emerges on planet Earth, which uh, is situated within the solar system. And cosmology is uh, the study of the origin, development, evolution of, of, of the universe, basically. So these are the categories that modern physicists use, and if we had to classify them according to the formal structure of the encyclopedia, that's broadly, broadly how they would be classified. Okay. Okay, so here is a part of Zitlichkeit. Uh, it's uh, the, um, a moment of objective Geist. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the Zweite Abteilung, the, the, the second division, the second section of the Philosophie der Natur, so here is the first or the second, 
uh, here it's uh, the very complex uh, jargon of uh, the writings of Hegel, but I have studied them with my limited knowledge of, uh, of, of the modern sciences. In this sense, empirically, I am, I am limited, but I just used the categories which are found within this part. So there is electromagnetism, uh, the study of uh, waves of, of, of light and, and magnetic interaction, magnetism and electricity, optics, which is more the study of light and visible uh, light and uh, uh, colors and also um, uh, x-rays, infrared, ultraviolet, it's not thermodynamics, which here, uh, it, it appears twice, thermodynamics, but here it's um, uh, the study of, of energy in a way, or, or um, uh, heat or whatever. Uh, chemistry, it appears also here, so there are various branches of chemistry and thermodynamics here and others there. Uh, partly geology um, on, on the, the study of planets, so here geology, meteorology, climatology, seismology and volcanology, it applies to all planets and all uh, solid uh, bodies uh, in, in the universe, also the Earth, but all um, all, all planets, all heavenly uh, bodies, in a way, and because later we have uh, these these determinations specifically for planet Earth. Uh, here in the second uh, part, we would have chemistry, acoustics, which is the theory of sounds, and here it's the theory of uh, heat and temperature, in a way. So here it's more energy, but here it's an, an, another subsection of energy. But that's how, with the categories of the modern sciences, this is broadly where it would fit. And here we would have biochemistry, again electromagnetism, uh, geophysics, magnetism as the, the magnetic influence of uh, the, the, the solar um, solar magnetism upon the Earth, for instance, alchemy, and again optics, electricity, and chemistry. So he, chemistry appears at several stages. There's also alchemy. So uh, it's it's quite complex, but uh, it's just to simplify, to illustrate. So, for instance, the totality of all the knowledge accumulated by scientists about electromagnetism uh, could be classified here and, and there. And the, the physicists notice that uh, physics is being artificially divided in order to clarify, to simplify, but actually there is only one physical universe. So, uh, quantum physics, relativity, mechanics, cosmology, electromagnetism, and, and even chemistry, etc. These are uh, distinction, but um, these are uh, the divisions of one same totality, which is the physical universe. It, it's divided uh, by the minds of, of humans to simplify, to clarify, to understand, but actually there is only one... Um, I mean, physics and chemistry, they differ, but also, um, uh, although uh, chemical reactions are physically determined, uh, in a way. But, uh, yeah, okay. And now uh, we have the Dritta Abteilung, the third section, which is Organische Physik. So here are the paragraphs of the encyclopedia, and it contains three parts. Uh, the Geologische Natur, which in ordinary, I mean in, in modern languages, language of the sciences, it contains. So here it's focused entirely and solely on planet Earth. Uh, earlier in uh, physics, we had uh, the study of the, the structure of, of other planets, or even stars, or, or other uh, heavenly bodies. Um, but here it's planet Earth, because this is the planet onto which consciousness emerged. The, the, the home of Geist, in a way. So we would have planetary geology, the study of oceans, uh, sources of water. This is the, the study of inland uh, water, lakes, rivers. Uh, natural sources, etc., um, etc. Et so oceans, uh, water in general, and, and um, lakes and rivers, uh, namely inland waters, mineralogy, topography, uh, geography. Although strictly speaking, geography is a product of of human endeavor. Although to topography exists, whether or not it is being uh, put on a map, with geography. Uh, there is human influence, so it's it's kind of improper, but uh, it's it's to clarify climatology and meteorology, uh, the study of the climate and the meteorological changes and determinations of planet Earth. So this is what 
the, the Geologische Natur contains, namely the study of the Earth, the planet, as a living totality. And again, uh, all these branches of the sciences are separated, although, strictly speaking, there is only one uh, reality, namely water, uh, minerals, the climate, the soils, uh, they, they are all physical objects, so they are all uh, mo uh, modes, to speak like Spinoza, of the one uh, physical substance, in a way. Here we have the Vegetabilis Natur, which would contain what we call today uh, molecular biology, or uh, biology at the, 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 the level of molecules and cells, genetics, uh, bacteriology, mycology, so this is the, sto the, the study of bacteria, of, of fungi, um, I think, uh, because here, uh, yeah, I think it's the study of fungi, botany, which is the, sto the, the study of, 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 of plant and, and uh, plants and, and botanics, basically, and pharmacology, the properties of the various plants. Uh, here, as a transition between the, 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 the bo botanics and also bacteria, fungi and, 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 and botanics and plants and the transition which is the ecology would be the science which study the interaction of living uh, organisms with their non-living non-organic environment and also with the organic environment so that's a transition between botanics i simplify uh, because bacteria and, and, and fungi they are not uh, plants strictly speaking but between the non uh, zoological beings and zoological beings, ecology would be the transition. And so the, the Tirische Organismus, this is the, the jargon of the encyclopedia, it contains, it would contain evolutionary biology, paleontology, zoology, ethology, so here's the study of ancient forms of animal life. Uh, this is the, stu the study of animals, uh, evolutionary biology, in a way, it's it's valid. It's it's like it could it could have been put here, but usually we think more in, in relation with animals. But it, there is evolution for for in the official story for for plants and for uh, other forms of life. But uh, I put it there, but uh, because it's when we think about this, we think about uh, the higher forms of life, the, the mammals, uh, the birds, the reptiles, and eventually uh, humans. Yeah, uh, ethology is the study of of, of animal behavior. Uh, so one could say that sociobiology uh, is to uh, anthropology what ethology is to zoology. I simplify. I hope that uh, it's it's not too wrong, but I, I, it's the broad idea. Okay, uh, neurosciences, which is the study of, of brain, not only in humans but in uh, all uh, creatures, all organism with a brain with a developed functioning uh, neural system. Pathology and epidemiology, which would be the study of diseases and and and, uh, and viruses and uh, etc. Anatomy, which is the, the formal study of the structure of organism. Physiology, which is the, the, the way the, the, the anatomy functions, the way the, the members of of the of of, of, of the organic totalities are reciprocally uh, in interaction. The various organs, the various uh, systems. The, the bone system, the nervous system, the system of, of, um, of, of, of blood, the digestive system, the reproductive system, etc., etc. Taxonomy would be the classification of all the life forms, bacteria, fungi, plants, animals, and medicine uh, would apply uh, for, so pharmacology would be uh, the use of, of the properties of the plants for human purposes or even for animal purposes. Pathology and epidemiology would be the study of, of diseases and medicine, how to cure, eventually, these diseases. Yeah, so this is, I, I uh, go back a little, this is nature, actually. Uh, mechanic, physic, organic physic, these are, the, simplify, we, can, we could divide uh, mechanics into sub-branches, astrophysics, sub-branches, Chemistry can be divided into uh, many sub uh, sub branches, particular determinations. The same goes for geology, uh, evolutionary biology. So I put really the simplest categories in order to make things intelligible. Uh, yeah, and now I will transition to subjective guys. So it's in pink and purple. 
and here it's from bottom up top so this is how in the official narrative of the sciences how man uh, emerge out of nature so in the view of the encyclopedia which uh, is also the view of many uh, primitive tribes and shamanic traditions animals here have a soul but they have no consciousness i mean if by consciousness we mean uh, sensuous consciousness of course animals have a consciousness uh, they are aware and, and, and they are not inert but if by consciousness we mean the ability to think the relation of a subject to itself or to an object uh, animals have no consciousness because in order to have a consciousness one has to think and to, to be able to say I the self is is the manifestation of of, of self-consciousness animals can be very intelligent dogs dolphins monkeys and even collective intelligence in uh, bee hives insects um, ants etc but they, they they are intelligent but they are not conscious because they, they, they do not speak uh, they, they, they do not think they do not abstract they, they are not aware of themselves they act uh, not mechanistically they act organically but they are not aware of what they do so um, th that's a, that's a philosophical problem but uh, no, no matter how intelligent an animal like a very uh, very highly skilled dog uh, <laughs> I've just watched uh, <laughs> today a clip uh, from uh, Pulp Fiction a dog uh, he's, he's gotta have uh, dogs are have personality yeah so there are dogs with strong personalities but no matter how intelligent or no matter how intelligent a monkey or a parrot or a dolphin or whatever might be uh, or um, uh, uh, the animals who who make uh, how do you call this castors i don't know the, those who build uh, dams with uh, pieces of wood you get the idea uh, they, they are very intelligent but they, they do not think as subjects that's why they have a soul but no consciousness if we define consciousness by a relation to self as thinking entity okay so here it's from top to bottom um the, the anthropology is the human soul so it's partly a, a, a determination of of geist but also still partly natural so it's a transition between the realm of nature and the realm of geist so it's it's not a clear transition it's it's, it's uh, continuous but also discrete and these are logical determination so here are the various categories which which help enable classify what the human soul is which is also anthropo the anthropological determination of humans so from top it begins with astrology namely the, the influence and the impact um, of of the planets uh, upon humans so to speak sociobiology so humans they belong here as zoological creatures and here here and there but uh, the, 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 the specifically anthropological determinations would belong to sociobiology as such and sociobiology can also include animals but here it's human sociobiology human demographics um, racial anthropology uh, evolutionary psychology how the psyche of humans is determined by the evolutionary process uh, personality traits uh, anthropology as such which is the study of, of um, human beings as um, biological creatures but there's cultural anthropology uh, there's racial anthropology and ethnography it would be more the the, the cultural aspect of anthropology in a way uh, the sex differences males and females within human from an anthropological uh, and sociobiological standpoint so how men and fe women uh, not uh, males and female male male humans and female humans how they differ and um, yeah males and females are determinations of nature and anthropology and men and women are determinations of uh, they are here uh, men and women are determinations of society so uh, here we the, the feminists they claim i simplify that everything is cultural 
uh, but actually they, they are still they, they are nonetheless uh, physical differences uh, g males and females are genetically different but uh, yeah so here it would be men and women as we call this ordinary from the perspective of anthropology and here from the perspective of society and culture but one cannot be thought about or thought of without the other and they can differ but they are nonetheless united in, in a certain way so here it's physiognomy the study of, of the features and the, the facial characteristics of humans uh, talent uh, the, the, the talent as a psychological ability in any, the, the talent of humans so here it's individual individual here it's particular here it's universal in a way and here we also have magic uh, namely what people call telepathy divination uh, psychics medium tarot reading uh, witchcraft uh, rituals of all sorts these are determinations of anthropology and ethnography but also determinations of the soul so this is uh, uh, the, 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 the faculties of the human soul to connect to a higher realm those people who, who read the cards or try to 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 determine the, the, to predict the future by studying astrology or the, the signs of the, the whatever these are talents of the human soul so it's it's logically structured in a way I, I just I took the, the determinations of the encyclopedia and I translated with modern language here psychoanalysis would be the study of, of the, the, the human psyche not strictly speaking the soul but the psyche uh, although psyche in Greek means the soul but uh, psyche is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a word of its own in a way uh, the subconscious the superconscious the, 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 the ego from a from a psychoanalytical the, the, the study of the the, uh, the processes which determine human behavior on a non-conscious level in a way psychiatry would be the problems encountered by uh, some human beings uh, in their relationship with themselves and with others so we have psychology psychoanalysis and psychiatry these are the, 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 the mental diseases clinical psychology in a way the study of emotions so when it's uh, in between brackets it means that it's a sub branch of psychology because we find psychology uh, higher in um, study here it's really uh, personality traits talent emotions and habits namely the way humans are are uh, structured are, are programmed in a way by their uh, biological anthropological and, and psychological self to, to behave in a certain way and to follow certain patterns of, of, of habits okay now we enter the phenomenology des Geistes so the soul becomes consciousness it's not uh, chronological uh, because uh, human beings have a consciousness normal human beings uh, since the, the, the very early years of, of life those who do not suffer from serious um, uh, mental problems and here it's again it's from bottom up to top so there is the sensuous consciousness namely the awareness of the presence of a sensuous world so that that's how we become aware of the world through our senses uh, perce uh, here is perception so it's a higher stage we became aware of objects which are sensuous but nonetheless uh, possess a universal um, moment in a way and and this is der Verstand which is what we call the understanding in English but is ordinary intelligence the ability to think so thought uh, it doesn't mean that here humans do not think but thought as such is the realm of their verstand uh, and ma men human beings elevate themselves above the realm of sensuous perception and uh, sensuous consciousness and perception through their verstand namely um, uh, a scientist knows that uh, the, the phenomenal world precisely is a phenomenal appearance that uh, in order to understand what is behind the phenomena in the view of scientist one has to elevate oneself above through a thinking activity and to grasp the laws uh, the laws of, of physics uh, uh, lightning or, uh, or 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 rain or a rainbow uh, are perception perceived through a sensuous consciousness we perceive meteorological determinations but the scientist knows what laws cause these phenomena to appear so the, in order to, to to understand intelligibly intelligibly so their first time is the, facu the faculty to think he will also have in the realm of psychology the motives of human behavior 
uh, on, a, on, 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 on a social uh, on a social level, say how do humans interact? So this is in a sense so, so, uh, psychological sociology or sociological psychology. The relationship of domination, uh, not between uh, official masters and official servants, although it still it has existed and still do exist, uh, uh, slave owners and slaves, or uh, um, uh, CEOs and, and employees, or. Uh, uh, forced marriages and all, but it's uh, in, in every human interaction there is a will to dominate uh, not necessarily neg negatively but when two people in a civilized society encounter one another and, and speak politely and say nice things to one another it's a will not to dominate negatively but to assert oneself by respecting the other politeness is some sort of a, a social game where people um, try to, to prove to the other that they are well-mannered, polite, etc. So that, that's social psychology in a way. And, 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 and I, I can take a, a positive example. When this, is, this has been studied by anthropologists, there are societies where, uh, some primitive societies where, where the members of the society are, are bound and tied to one another in reciprocal obligations to offer gifts to one another. So that's one way of regulating the negative will to power of individuals within this society where the, 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 the dominant leaders of some primitive tribes are forced to offer gifts to other members of the tribe. Uh, it, it, is, it has also existed in, in European history. The, 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 the Roman aristocrats were forced by some sort of a social code which was based on uh, psychological motives to, 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 to spend a part of their wealth for the greater good of the, the people uh, were buying them uh, food, uh, entertainment, etc., etc., and the, we find this still today. Uh, the, the the stars of the the, the, business, the show business they have to, uh, they are psychologically determined and, and socially determined to 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 give uh, to charities to to they, they try to assert uh, their their um, their will to be accepted by giving to others. So it's it's uh, it's the psychological game in a way. Uh, yeah. That's how human selfishness is used to produce goodness, in a way. That's a, a cunning of reason, as, a, as Hegel would say. <laughs> sometimes the cunning of, of reason can be quite comical, sometimes. Yeah, so here, in the continuum, we have desire. Uh, it's not sexual desire that would be here. It's uh, desire to be acknowledged, to be praised, to be recognized. So it's tied with this. Desire to acquire fame or prestige or uh, or status basically it's it's partly determined by sociobiology but it's here it's uh, it's it's in a higher form uh, here i have not translated does anerkennen de selbst de vous i mean the, the, what i've just said the, the, the consciousness uh, has the will to be acknowledged recognized praised accepted to to assert one's status uh yeah uh, to, to play by the rules of whatever social circle uh, teenagers in their circles they want to assert themselves uh, criminals in a, in a, in a gang they, they still play this social game uh, in order to be acknowledged and, and respected within a gang of criminals uh, there are certain rules to follow and, and politicians I'm not saying that uh, all politicians are gangs of criminals although some of them are but uh, in the political sphere, th th there is the same will to be acknowledged and praised. Uh, political correctness, in the context of the modern West, is a will to be accepted. You have to play by the rules of the dominant, uh, the dominant uh, ideology to be accepted. And universal self-consciousness here is what we, could, what, we, what we would call collective identity. It can be identifying oneself with... Uh, uh, a church, with uh, a country, with a political party, with uh, a dominant political figure, with a football team, a basketball team, whatever. Uh, this is how human acquires a higher sense of self through identif identifying their self with a higher collective belonging. Here in the realm of psychology, which is even higher, we have Anschauung, which is the, the the, the immediate perception, for lack of a better word, of, of, a, of spatially and temporally de uh, determined objects. So it's a, 
the, the, the immediate connection with an external presence in a way. Uh, so that's the theoretical. So here it's theoretical, practical, and thinking. So in theoretical we have unshowing, uh, which is the the the, the, per the perception. It's not a proper word, but here I will not delve into the subtleties. And Vorstellung, which is representation, which contains. The Erinnerung, I have not translated because it can be translated by insight. Uh, er, inner means inner, mean to go within. Insight means to look within in English. Uh, interiorization in a way. So here it's the faculty of imagination, memory, and insight in a way. And this belongs to Vorstellung. And that's what I said earlier at the beginning of the video that all imagination, the imagination of writers, poets, movie makers, uh, storytellers, uh, children, teenagers, lovers, uh, politicians, uh, whatever. And imagination is, is kind of potentially infinite. So, yeah. Uh, and here we have, so here's the, the the theoretical Geist, and Geist here cannot be properly translated. Here we would have the soul, the consciousness, here that would be Geist. It's literally it's spirit, but here it's not really spirit, it's it cannot be translated. So here we have practical feelings, so various branches of psychology, uh, the, the ethical tendencies, the, 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 the natural social psychological tendencies, and sometimes they enter into conflict with one another, the emotions, so we already had emotions here, but we find in a different way here, and the study of intelligence here. And here we have thought. Uh, so der Verstand is thought in its pure abstraction. Here it's thought tied with uh, the determinations of of the brain in a way because IQ is partly determined by the, 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 the neurons and synapses and connections within the brain so here we would have the study of IQ uh, body language uh, so here uh, I'm not sure of my classification because Das Denken actually would be just here and uh, these this part would be okay uh, I can't but anyway uh, the, I'm not. It's not. Uh, it's. It can be improved, but, uh, but because body language precisely is not a way of thinking because it's unconscious. But or sometimes it's it's not. But most of the time it's unconscious. But grammar, linguistics, semiotics, which is the theory of signs, and all these belong to uh, communication. So um, grammar, the study of language, and the study of various signs and symbols and and. Uh, etc would be contained within psychology so this is a uh, subjective geist which is the first section of the third part of the process and now we will look at objective geist so subjective geist here it's naturally determined here it's the relation of the self to an object that which we call consciousness and here it's the psyche and eventually thought das denken which contains all the previous determinations exteriorizes itself and becomes objective to itself so here uh, the body plays an important role uh, the soul and the body are, are united here uh, one need a, a consciousness here it's higher even in the realm of thought and objective spirit it's actually pure thought and i will try to explain objective spirit is invisible in a sense that's why uh, spirit here might be the proper term whereas in the realm of subjective geist geist would be better in a sense that i will illustrate the family uh, of course families and, and men and women have a physical biological reality but the biological aspect of male and female relationships and even family as a uh, natural uh, human groups would be here here in the realm of so here it's subjective or geist here it's objective or geist uh, it doesn't mean that uh, family with men and women or uh, or uh, the, the classes of sociology uh, have no physical presence but here these are social ties uh, social relationships cultural relationships and the, the social rules they are invisible the, the, the cultural rules they are invisible uh, I will illustrate uh, in a, when there is a marriage of course the marriage happens in a, in a church or in a, in, a, in a religious institution in a mosque or in a synagogue or uh, 
in a, a public office or wherever. Um, but so it's it's made manifest uh, present. But marriage is is a contract. The contract can be written and signed on a paper. But actually, it's a a, 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 a determination of thought. It's an invisible tie in a way. You can uh, break up the, 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 the contract. You are supposed to be married for life in front of God, as they say. Oy vey, I chose the wrong wife. I shouldn't have married her. <laughs> I chose the wrong husband. Thank God, uh, God invented divorce. Uh, some say, uh, uh, w w there's a lot to say about marriage and divorce, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I might say, there is marriage, there is divorce, there is celibacy. Everyone should be happy. No, everyone is miserable precisely because marriages are unstable. Divorce rates are soaring. God, do something. Fix this mess, please. <laughs> okay, okay, I continue. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I, I will take another example. Uh, here we have the government. Of course, the government is has a physical presence. There are buildings, uh, the Elysee in France, uh, the, the uh, how do you call this, we Westminster uh, in, in uh, uh, 10 Downing Street in England. Um, Westminster, it's for the, the, the Queen, but uh, the 10 Downing Street, uh, the, the Elysee, uh, the, the Reichstag in Germany or the, the Bundestag or whatever, the White House, uh, the, the Senate in every country, uh, whatever. So it has a physical presence, of course, but the ties between the rulers and the ruled, the, the, the social contract is invisible. That's why the media is the same thing. Of course, there are uh, printing press, radio, uh, TVs, uh, br internet broadcast. They have a physical reality in the realm of technology, but the message, the ideas that are spread, they are invisible. In a way, that's, that's pure thought. That's why um, uh, th th this is why it's objective spirit in a way. So the, 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 the I will use here uh, an, Aristotel an Aristotelian jargon or even a Marxist jargon. The substratum is, of course, humans as natural creatures. But uh, here it's really a, a law. I take another example. R the, the rights. There are judicial. Uh, uh, how do you call it? courts? There are courts. Uh, p police office, um, uh, etc. They, they ha they are, these are buildings with a physical presence, but what is be being made manifest and present in this building is just an ID. Law pervades an entire society. It's not just within the court. The court is where criminals or, or innocent sometimes are judged, but rights, they are supposed, the, 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 the rights are supposed to be valid throughout a territory. So they are invisible. They are an invisible presence in a way. Uh, I, I hope that it's clear. And uh, here I'll make a little bit of a joke, but a marriage that the same thing, uh, the ties of marriage are supposed to be present between the husband and the wife, wherever they go, even if the husband goes into the bed of his mistress. Okay. I might regret having made this joke, but at this point, you know, uh, this is just to illustrate. So he here, yeah, it's the, the realm of, Objective are geist, and uh, here's the full uh, picture. So here it's in blue, but here it's a religion. No, it's philosophy and religion. So here, objective are geist. There's the full picture. So uh, A is das Recht. It's the first distinction of the encyclopedia. B is die Moralität, and everywhere else C is the Sittlichkeit. So I will uh, briefly uh, comment. And here it's specific to uh, modern, uh, modern or ancient, but uh, specific types of anthropological society. Namely, there, there are what we call the primitive tribes. Uh, they have relationship of family and marriage. Eventually, it can be polygamous, monogamous, etc. But there, there have been and still is today uh, many societies. I mean, many in terms of uh, uh, variety, but not in terms of quantitative number. Uh, there are very few uh, human beings who live. Uh, with no uh, constitution, uh, the, the primi primitive tribes of Amazonia, they are protected by the constitution of Brazil, for instance, or, uh, or uh, the primitive tribe, I mean, the, the, the ancestral or the native people of, of, of Canada or, or the native Indians who live in reservation, they are protected by the, the constitution. But there, there still is maybe a few 
tribes who really live outside of any um, relationship of rights. But human rights are supposed to protect humans. Uh, they are supposed to, I don't say that they do, but they are supposed to protect humans wherever they are on the planet. Uh, even if they, the, these primitive societies have not developed by themselves a system of, of collective law, etc., etc. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so the police, uh, in a way, there has always been uh, po po policemen, uh, even in ancient Rome, but they were not policemen with an office, as we understand now, but people who are in charge in order to, 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 to maintain and restore order, it exists and has existed in all societies. Uh, the, the judicial system, even in pastoralist tribes, there are no uh, courts, etc., but it can be a personal justice. And the, the encyclopedia talks about this, the passage from uh, personal revenge, uh, that, that which we call violence, to imperson an impersonal system of justice where it's a, an, another member, a judge, which is, which is supposed to be uh, impartial, which is supposed to be uh, indifferent uh, in, in the good sense, to have no bias for one side or the other to, to settle conflicts. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, the, 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 the building block, one might say, of objective spread is, of course, the family with marriage, here it's education in a sense of the upbringing of the youth. Here it's the educational system. So if we had to make a, t uh, a linguistic um, a distinction, this would be education and this would be instruction. But the two eventually they coincide because educational systems in the modern world, they partly, in, they partly instruct or, or sometimes they don't. Uh, they, do, they, they instruct or do or fail to instruct in terms of theoretical knowledge, but they try to educate in terms of values. So there is a conflict sometimes between the, the values of the family and the values of the educational system. Yeah, so the building block here is uh, the family as a social construct. Here it's the family as a natural construct. And as long as in order to create babies, there has to be a, a male um, a, a ma male um, cells and, and, and female cells. Uh, there, there has to be family, even though the, the parents may not live together, but uh, there still has to be sperm and uh, eggs, basically. Maybe technology will find a way to artificially create human. We'll see that, but uh, yeah. Uh, so here, that's the building block. Uh, here, that's why it's, I have structured this with my view, but actually uh, it, it can be modified. Uh, here we have sociology. So that's how the family enters into relationship with other families. And social, when it's in clear blue, it's a subdivision in a way. So dark blue is a division and a clear blue is a subdivision. So uh, sociology divided into classes, various modes of production, agriculture, industry, services, and there could be even, a, there are still hunter-gatherers -gather, of nomadic or pastoralist tribes, so it could be included as well. Uh, the various modes of production, which brings about the realm of, of economics. So here we had economics and sociology. They are separated in this picture, but actually they are one. Uh, th th there is no economics without sociological distinction in a way, even in a, the most primitive tribe. So economics is here. Advertisement is a sub branch of economics. Uh, the economic system has to be financed. There are very complex systems of finance in the modern societies, but uh, even in, in, in all societies, uh, uh, if uh, hunters go on, 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 a, on a trip to try to, to hunt a buffalo, the, the expedition, the, the, the hunting uh, uh, journey has to be financed by uh, resources. They have to bring food with them. That's a, a way of financing. But modern finance with uh, dematerialized uh, uh, scriptural uh, money is very, very developed. But yeah, uh, the division of labor. So division of labor brings about sociology and the, the various modes of production away. And here, uh, I added this, it's not in the Encyclopedia of Hegel, but there has slums, there, there are slums and there are beggars, namely even uh, unemployed people or, or uh, beggars are still part of the economic system uh, in a way. Uh, so, and, and here we have culture, not in the sense of the high culture of art, although it's partly tied, but culture here in German, it's Bildung, uh, culture, ways of life, entertainment and sport and entertainment and, and games and, and leisure have existed in all societies. It's a, a universal anthropological determination. Uh, the Romans are their the, the forms of entertainment, the Greeks, 
there are games in, in, in African societies, in primitive African societies, in all societies, there are forms of entertainment, playing music as well. And this culture can eventually, if it's highly developed, bring forth art. But it's also here. So here it's not just aesthetic culture, it's culture as a collective way of life. And the, the life of a people, the Zitlishkeit, uh, as as um, still uh, uh, per pervaded, uh, how should I put it? The, the Zitlishkeit, in a sense of the, the collective life of a people, in in a sense of the folk aspect, would contain these four determination mostly, namely family ties, behavior, responsibility, ethics, the the, the view of good and evil, and the modes of production, the sociological di division, and the cultures, way of life, manners, habits, etc. And here it's more impersonal uh, that's why people sometimes complain of the, the, the dehumanizing aspect of modern societies because these that's why they are higher i mean i it's not perfect but i have ordered this in a in a rational s s way nonetheless i've tried to order this here the, the the relationship between the inhabitants of society are more and more impersonal here they are still personal it's one-to-one -one relationship working with the colleagues uh, politeness, uh, decency, uh, civic behavior, uh, what is considered right and wrong in any given society, crimes, uh, uh, misbehavior, etc. Economics, it's already, it's still partly personal, but it's, it's already more impersonal because there are people who wor work uh, all week and they never meet their boss or the, the, the CEO, etc. So, this and uh, the educational system also it's partly already impersonal because uh, the people sometimes do not have control upon the content of the educational system and so on. but these four uh, determinations would be zitlishkeit in a sense of really the the, the the common life of the folk i mean the, the immediate life in a sense uh, here it would be more sorry it would be more mediated i mean it's also relationship with other members of the society but it's more impersonal in a way uh, uh, one has to obey the laws of one's country uh, whether whether or not one knows uh, those who are impacted by our decisions whereas politeness uh, one is supposed to obey the, the, the rules of politeness just to take an example or uh, well-mannered behavior it's direct contact in a way uh, yeah uh, so here it's economics, the educational system, the media. Here we have the government with the separation of powers, executive power, judicial power, um, uh, executive, judicial, legislative power. These are the classical di distinction drawn by Montesquieu and they, they are still prevalent to a, certain, to a certain extent in democratic societies. And here we have the political uh, show, uh, political debates, uh, candidates, elections, etc., etc. And the media, they are a transition uh, between politics and economics and the educational system and the government uh, shapes the educational system which shapes the behavior of people which shapes the, 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 the family ties which has an influence upon economics but it's everything is reciprocally inter interconnected in the sense that that's why it, it is important to study logic because one could say families bring about ethics which bring about uh, politics, so uh, family families, which are gathering of humans, they have a certain code of ethics, they bring about a government, that's the ideal uh, view from bottom up to the top, that's the, the view of nationalist in a way, and the, 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 in some societies when people complain, say the, 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 the system is corrupt, they think that the government shapes the educational system, which shapes uh, morality which has a, a disruptive impact upon the life of a people so that it's uh, uh, bottom up top top down to bottom uh, that's considered populism and that's con considered from top to one techn technocracy basically i simplify to the utmost okay so here it's clear here we have technology which actually it, it could have been here i put it there because of it's, it's kind of tied with, um, yeah, I put it there because of the internet, because the relationship between the people, morality, ethics, sociology is, is very is structured in, in the modern day by the, the presence of the internet, which is a development of, of technology, which itself is derived from uh, military expenses, which is connected to 
secret services and the constitution. So that's why it's here. It could have been there because strictly speaking, technology is a byproduct of economics. But here I, I wanted to insist upon the sociological aspect of technology and transhumanism would be tied with uh, the, the more uh, obscure aspects of government. Yeah. So here it's the visible government and the government in, in a democratic or at least in a Republican, in a sense of uh, Republican institutions, not American Republicans, but the Republic means the res publica, namely that the, the law should be made public and not uh, be uh, in the hands of, 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 of a tyrant or a monarch or one individual, but it should be public. So here, the government is supposed to have to obey the constitution and only uh, in certain cases, uh, legislative debates or si certain situations are, is the government allowed to change the constitution? And, and justice, here we have the judicial system, but uh, the, 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 the idea of, of justice, which is one of the defining justice, is the ability to make uh, different human beings with diverging interests live as peacefully and as um, decently as possible together that's the ideal of justice not that everyone should should like one another that would be the idea of, of the good or of a, a morality but justice means to to limit the negative reciprocal interactions that human have and a just society the ideal of a just society is a society in which humans can peacefully or as peacefully as possible coexist with one another without hurting one another too much yeah uh, these are the the, the the debates of political philosophy so here, the highest uh, official principle is the constitution and the justice, but the government shapes the constitution and the constitution shapes the government. That's Wechsel uh, Wirkung, that's uh, the termination of essence. Uh, here, uh, the, these are the, the, the inner uh, uh, law, the inner legislation of the state, and here are the, the, the relationship of a state with its uh, how do you call it, partners, or is a, uh, he's a, the, of the other states, so geopolitics, which include military, this is the realm of, of conflict and war, and also diplomacy, and the history of the states and their reciprocal interaction is what, what brings forth the historical process. And uh, people with no states, states would be here, the constitution, usually they have no history, or they enter history, uh, because a, a, a society with a state conquers them. That's why, the, 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 I take the example of Europe, the, the pre, um, la, uh, how should I explain this, the, the, the Celts and, and the Germans, uh, they were considered barbarians because they had not entered the world history and the Romans brought, the, the first the Greeks uh, partly, but mostly the Romans, they brought the Celts of, of, of Fran what would later become France, the Gauls or the Celts of what would later become the French territory, they brought them into world history and eventually uh, partly the Romans and, and Charlemagne, they brought the Germans into world history, but also the Germans who had no state as such, who were a folk in this sense, but with no uh, fixed set of constitution. I mean, they, they had their codes and their rights, etc., but it was not written and it was not, um, there were no physical institution precisely, it was still an, an ethical life in, in a good sense, one might say. They, uh, they entered world history by uh, conquering a falling Roman Empire in a sense. Uh, that's uh, the history of, of, of the West. And then uh, in, in, in the age of discovery, uh, European explorers financed by uh, princes or, or states uh, they, they discovered and they brought forth into the historical process uh, Southern America, Northern America, the inland parts of Africa, etc, etc. So yeah, uh, here we would have, uh, as derived from the constitution, das Recht, it has to obey the fundamental uh, law, which is the constitution. So we have rights, here it's rights on an individual level, here it's more a collective level, so here we have individual rights. Uh, property, freedom of speech, association, rights to uh, bear arms, eventually rights to have a, an attorney in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a trial or in court, etc. Also crime. So here it's moral crime and moral evil. Here it's uh, wrong from the point of view of, of crime, but also usually what is wrong here 
because everything is interconnected, what is considered to be evil from a moral standpoint ends up being a crime. In, 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 so that's why morality and, 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 and uh, rights, das Recht, they are connected. And they are also disconnected because sometimes uh, laws are unfair or unjust and they are morally wrong. Sometimes, sometimes what is, or most of the time, what is morally right uh, is not applied into law. Uh, and if we try to do that, if we force people, uh, that, that, that's, that's the difference between charity and, and redistribution. The welfare state would be here, a mixture between here and there. The welfare state, uh, one might say it's morally good to share uh, your wealth with those in need, but if the state forces you to do so, it can be considered evil. These are the kind of debates that people have every day uh, in uh, developed societies. So here, yeah, we have rights or, or law on an individual level, crime with uh, terrorism, mafias, gangs, etc. Uh, this is a crime within a society. Uh, here we have a war. This is conflicts between states. Here it's conflict between individual and states or individual and other individual within the same territory. Mafias and gangs, property rights, contracts, and the theory of natural rights, which if it is applied universally, it can be considered the human rights and uh, the United Nations, one of their roles is to implement natural rights, uh, the rights of man, the declaration of human rights on, on, a, on a world scale. And here we have um, uh, law as more of a collective. So here would be the rights of the individual and here the, the duties of the individual in a sense, but there are no rights without duty and reciprocally, but because the right, uh, the right to, uh, uh, to own property is the duty to respect one another's property. The, the right to free speech is the duty to, to tolerate what the other says, etc., etc. So every, with every right comes a duty. Uh, so here you have the judicial system. So here it's the fundamental determination of justice. And here it's the really existing f f uh, Grund existence. And that which exists comes out of the Grund. That's the judicial system, the police, the prisons, the mental asylum. Uh, they would be uh, they are from psychiatry, but uh, the mentally insane, they are put not into prisons, but into mental asylum, basically. Uh, so here I've already talked about technology and uh, the, the, the government, the secret services, they use technology to gather uh, data upon the behavior of the population and the, the economic interaction. See, that's a big brother, as they call this. And here where we go higher, we, we realize that um, money and banking, so the economy has to be financed here. I could make a connection between this and that, and it, it exists in a way, in a sense, it, it is, it has Dasein. Uh, the, the, here we have the highest level of the banking system and, and money is, is, a, is supposed to be a contract. There are debates about whether money is a public good, whether it's a collective contract. Here we have individual contracts, but a collective contract, or is it uh, should it be in the hand of, of private uh, property, namely uh, private banks who would own uh, uh, money uh, in the form of, of a gold standard, for instance, and uh, because they would not be, uh, they have, would have no interest uh, to, to bring about inflation. So the question of who owns the money supply uh, is a fundamental question because he who controls the money can, it's like the blood, money is to the economy and to society what the blood is to, 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 to anatomy and physiology. It is the, the running uh, process. So that's why uh, the, the banks, the highest banks, uh, they, they can uh, finance uh, the deep state, they need the, the, the hidden hand, those who control, that's the official government, and that's the, the real government. And here real means those who have the ability to implement their policies. Here would be the puppets, and here would be the real, uh, those who really have the power. Uh, uh, yeah, and they are in league with, with them, and that's how it functions, basically. Uh, yeah. So, and, and here uh, there are glo globalist institutions and lobbies. So, uh, secret services, they are official. The deep state, it's not very clear 
it can be partly official, namely uh, the, the secret services, secret agencies, etc. Uh, but it's it's uh, kind of obscure. Uh, that, that's why there are so many myths about who controls uh, the government. Uh, that's what we call conspiracy theories uh, on the internet and in the collective psyche. And um, the lobbies, they are official, I mean, they are allowed, but they, they can use uh, either they, they can be, the, 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 the banking system can finance the lobbies to promote certain uh, behaviors, ethics, values, etc. Uh, or the, the lobbies can, can, uh, can use um, the media to promote their values, etc., etc. And we have globalist institutions, which are a result of world history. Uh, most of the, the current institutions, the UNESCO, the IMF, the World Bank, the UN, uh, and, and the, the, the world, the, the various world, I could have added the, the non-governmental organization, although they are not, uh, they are different because precisely they are not a uh, byproduct of government, but uh, the, the NGOs, uh, I, um, um, how do you call this, uh, the doctor with no borders, uh, journalists with no borders, uh, the, the WWF, the, the, the Fund for Wildlife, etc., the, the Ecologic, Ecological Associations, etc., they could be here, the, the non governmental institutions. Uh, presently, these are not institutions, these are organizations. They could have been added here. And all here, all the, the, the globalist institutions, uh, the, the G7 or the G20, would be diplomacy. But it's also an institution, but it's more diplomacy. So that's why there is a connection in a way. So, yeah. And the president, uh, or the leader, or whatever, he's here. He's the head of the government. And he can be elected, depending, it can be a, a democracy, uh, aristocracy, uh, theocracy, uh, totalita totalitarian regime. These are the various powers, etc. Et but the, the leader, the head of the state, is the one individual uh, who represents the totality of objective spirit, which itself is derived from the totality of subjective spirits, namely the, 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 the soul, mind, consciousness, and spirits and psyche of a people. Yeah. And finally, the third part, okay, it's been one hour and 30, the third part of the process of, of Geist, here we really have spirits, which is made manifest, so art, we have here the, 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 the plastic arts, architecture, painting, sculpting. I've added cinema and photography, dance, music, theater, literature, poetry, video games, depending, it can be just culture, but at the highest level, uh, the purpose of art is to represent beauty. Uh, so video games, in this sense, they are not art, but literature, neither, because literature can be the presentation and the revelation of the beautiful, but it can also be entertainment. So video games and pop literature, they could be in this culture. And here we will have really high culture. But uh, then again, a movie, uh, then that's, uh, how do you call it? Snob mentality, namely that who shapes the tastes? Uh, here it would be sociology and, uh, and, and ethics, namely what is considered great art and just pop culture? Why should we downgrade pop culture? Why can't pop culture be considered great art? And I think I do, I do consider that pop culture is actually great art because the purpose of cultural Hegelianism as, in, as an ideology is to use pop culture to spread philosophical ideas. Anyway, uh, so here I will just make a, a quick, uh, uh, where, yeah. So here are sounds, uh, here are music from pop culture, uh, which uh, express the idea that uh, the, the rising of the sun. And the sun is the symbol of, of light, which brings clarity uh, to uh, clarity and, and intelligibility. That was the reason why I chose these songs. So yeah, these are various forms of art, there might be others. And the reason why it is the third moment is that art uh, is the, the, the presentation, I'm sorry, the, 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 the manifestation of the life of a society, which if you have followed up until then, is itself the, 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 the manifestation of the life of a people, which if you have followed the, the logic, one might say, is itself the manifestation of, of nature in a way. There is continuity, but also discretion. Continuity and discretion are determination of Zion. 
So art, and here it's uh, almost Marxist, but actually it's Hegelian, namely it is a society which produces its own art and in order to understand a society, one can make sociological analysis, economic analysis, uh, analysis about law and the judicial system, historical analysis, etc. But uh, of course, it's relevant. But by studying the art which is being produced by a given society at a given time uh, chronologically, what it enables because it reflects, like in a sense that. This would be immediacy, although strictly speaking it is mediated by institution, but let us say it is immediacy. Here, art would be the reflection, like a mirror of a society. I was saying that's why, um, uh, yeah, art is the reflection of, um, of, of a society in the sense that it reflects the life of a society. That's why listening to artists, uh, but not only artists, but listening to musicians, uh, 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 writers, poets, uh, game designers or, or uh, the, 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 the movies that are being produced or the, the, the paintings or the sculpture or, or, or the architecture, the, the, the way the buildings, which are not, because there are various kinds, there is um, utilitarian uh, architecture that would be in economics, namely in sociology, how to house the population, how to prevent people from living in the slums, so that would be the, the strictly uh, utilitarian aspect. There is also architecture which is pro produced for the sake of achieving beauty. And uh, uh, yeah, so the various modes of art, they are a reflection of the life of a people. That's why uh, the entire purpose of cultural Hegelianism is to use pop culture uh, to promote philosophical idea which con consists in trying to think about the totality, basically. So that's why uh, and here again, the, the, that's why it's important to study logic because vexel virkum, which means, can be translated literally by reciprocal determination. Uh, one can say that it is a society which shapes, uh, in a sense, which brings forth its artists, but in, a, in another sense, the, 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 uh, uh, the, the, immo the immortal or the, the eternal art art forms, the eternal artists, they shape society in a sense that uh, every Englishman is partly influenced by the, the greatest pieces of English literature. That what they, they learn or are supposed to learn in school. Uh, th that's why the the the, uh, eh, the, the people they are a ref the, the the art forms are a reflection of the, the collective life of a people, but the reverse is, is also partly true, or at least uh, maybe a part of me believes that it was, namely that every every typical Englishman, every typical American, every typical German comes straight out of the mind of a great English poet uh, or a great English English writer. Or th that's what I thought at some moment. Maybe I deluded myself, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> I will make a joke. Uh, every, every typical America uh, American comes straight out of a movie. Uh, is, isn't it how it's supposed to be? <laughs> the Americans, they, they come straight out of a movie, no? Don't they? Okay, that, that's not... Uh, I mean, they are pretty dark uh, movie in America, but yeah. And then religion. So here it's the presentation of the spiritual substance. Uh, through a sensuous and aesthetically pleasing form. Here it's the same substance, the same spiritual substance, which is made manifest through uh, tales, parables, metaphors, images, uh, and in an inner relationship. I simplify to the utmost. Art is made for contemplation, although uh, music is, is, is uh, an inner determination. That's why here my classification is not very good because uh, here it's visual, here it's uh, audition, but music and poetry are, are, are made to be interiorized in a way. That's why they are the highest forms, uh, one can say, of, um, of, of art, but one could say that video games, it's uh, interactive, but here poetry, and, um, they are, there, is, there is music in video games, there is music in cinema, but uh, music is one of the highest forms because it's the interiority, it speaks directly uh, to the soul. Whereas, uh, yeah, in religion, it's the same thing. It's supposed to be the inner relationship of the believer to the spiritual substance, which is the totality of the process unfolding itself. 
uh, yeah, that's why it is said in a Protestant religion that uh, the believer has to have a, a, a direct personal relationship with with God, basically. It, it can also be true in other forms of religion, but it's specific to the Protestant faith. Uh, yeah. And here I've classified here it's Christianity, the other two Abrahamic religions. Here are more the, the more Asian uh, Eastern religions. Uh, here are the native faiths or shamans. So here we would have Shinto, and here are all the various forms of uh, modern, postmodern, premodern uh, uh, spirituality. And finally, here we have the sciences, which would include. If one might say, here is, for instance, the structure of nature and what the scientists think about nature would be classified in the sciences, one might say. And also philosophy, which includes ontology, we go back to uh, the beginning, metaphysics, uh, which is the, the, the conceptual uh, grasping of the essence of things, logic, which is the, the, the study of the laws and rules of thought, epistemology, which is the theory of, of knowledge, and absolute knowing, which is the purpose of philosophy eventually, namely the totality, becoming conscious of itself and, and knowing itself. And I will just uh, now show the broad picture again. And now I will not go into detail, you can uh, watch. So I repeat, it will be uh, for a few minutes again, this totality is the process of God, formally, formally, namely being, uh, unfolding itself, developing itself, exteriorizing itself in nature, I have simplified, all of nature emerges from the chronological perspective, here's that, that the story of, 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 of cosmology in a way, uh, the, the Big Bang, which is which makes the physical universe appear in a mathematically, uh, which means logically structured way, physics, chemistry, uh, the appearance of the solar system, the Earth, the appearance of life, the evolution of life, the evolution of man, man as a social anthropological uh, thinking entity which develops institution and uh, in the highest form manifests his own essence through art reflects upon uh, the meaning and the, the reason and the, the, the purpose of the presence of man in the world, which is one of the questions that religion is supposed to answer, and the thinking consideration of the totality, which is philosophy. That's uh, the story, basically. And from a non, uh, a non re that would be the, re the realist story, but from an idealist perspective, uh, reality begins with consciousness. So, man and consciousness are, are first, they are prior, and the consciousness is the consciousness of a natural object, nature, the world of time, space, etc. And this is why it is consciousness which brings forth nature, from my idealist perspective, by a process that I do not understand, and by conceptualizing, by thinking about the totality. And here it's not the totality, it's just a picture. By thinking about the totality, man can know about his essence and about the essence of things, the ground of reality, the ground of all reality, which is God. And God is the complete and total manifestation of itself uh, through these various um, these various Beshtim uh, Titan determinacies. And uh, yeah, this is the formal presentation of, uh, of God in a very simplified way, because the categories of logic are extremely complex, the subdivisions of the sciences are very complex, uh, the human psyche is very complex, the human institution is very complex, but I have reached a point, which I talked about in my video, where I, I have I have reached my, uh, my my intellectual limits as a commentator of Hegel. It doesn't mean that uh, I could not improve. I, I could here it's not it, it was not a comment of Hegel. I did not prepare this video, but in a sense that if I wanted to just be a commentator of Hegel, I could do that. But uh, I have understood that this is not my my purpose. Although that's what I've been doing for four and a half years almost. 
I've reached a point where I will no longer use or very scarcely the writings of Hegel because I have incorporated enough of Hegel in my mind. I will use my own notes, my own knowledge, my own experience to share my view as long as I can. I will share uh, my view as long as I can talk and I will use this document that I might improve, but I will not focus on improving uh, this document, but it, 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 I, I will use this as an introduction to most of my videos as long as I publish videos because it is simply a way of making being uh, in the process of becoming conscious of itself, that which is God actually, intelligible. Uh, it's, uh, it's really that simple. I mean, <laughs> no, it's, it's not that simple because no, the, the process is actually infinitely complex because here I will just end by making a very small remark. In order to understand any given individual human being, one has to understand and maybe this, maybe, uh, here is a pure hypothesis, maybe in the mind of the real God at the highest level, maybe uh, every individual consciousness is, here it's not a maybe, uh, here is an assertion that every individual human consciousness is determined by the totality of all the determinations. I mean, every human, he's a physical being, so he has all the determinations of the, the philosophy of nature, which have an impact upon his psyche, and he is determined by his, his social role. Every human, I will not comment everything, but he is member of a state or, or a tribe with no state, member of a, of a family, he has a culture, a language, a certain level of intelligence, he has a social, sociological role, uh, he is sub subject of, of, of a certain legislation, etc. He has certain views or opinions about religion, art, and philosophy, even if he's an atheist, even if he's an anti metaphysician, that's still a philosophical view. So, every individual is determined by the totality of the process, and maybe in the mind of, of the real God, the fully actualized, the, 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 the all knowing God, uh, maybe all humans. Uh, maybe God knows all humans perfectly. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, in order to, to understand, I will conclude by this sentence. I, this is, I should have begun, begun with this sentence because this is what I spontaneously thought in 2018. And this is one of my, my way of expressing the, the way I understood Hegel before reading Hegel or when I just discovered the writings of Hegel, I, I understood uh, it was probably in uh, May 2018, so more than four years ago. I, I, had, I had just discovered the writings of Hegel thoroughly in a way over the past, over the previous uh, three or four months. I said to myself, in order to understand anything at all, if one wants to understand anything, one has to understand everything. And I said this in English because it only works in English. It doesn't work in, in German uh, or in French. Uh, but in English, anything, which can mean any indeterminate thing, uh, is opposed to, to everything, so every determinate thing, but actually everything is also everything. So in order to understand anything at all, if one wants to understand any anything at all, one is forced logically to understand everything because anything is co connected to something else and something else is connected to, to something else and the interconnectedness of all things is everything and uh, everything thinking itself at the highest level maybe is God. So yeah, that's why absolute knowing uh, in a way is a, is a logical necessity uh, basically. <laughs> but uh, because here, uh, the, the, the knowledge of, of an other, which is a reflection of the self, if the other is the self, by knowing the other, if one knows the self, one is in only, only in relation to oneself. So to be in relation with oneself and not with another, this is what we call freedom. That's why freedom and necessity, at some level, they coincide. Uh, yeah. And then I will, I will conclude <laughs> by, by talking uh, to God. <laughs> Uh, in, in a good mood because uh, I, 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 I have many negative aspects and, and I, will, uh, I, I will be judged 
by, by humans at some moment. But I, I must admit that I enjoy, uh, I, I have some very dark moments uh, where I, I'm really depressed and anxious, stuff, but I enjoy talking about God, <laughs> one might say. And I will, I will, I will say, I said that I would praise God as long as I can. And here, of course, it's not God. Here, it's really a, a very simplified um, formal uh, presentation. But how could so much complexity? And there are really negative uh, moments in God. Uh, uh, for instance, this and that and that and uh, the, the conflicts, the wars, uh, the, the evil. So the, the, this negativity is part of the process of being. Uh, it, it cannot be denied, but the totality of being, how can uh, such a, a complex entity emerge out of, out of pure being, which is nothing, and in a logically coherent, structured fashion? And if I had to be honest with God, in spite of all the negative aspects, and there are, the, the totality, uh, it's simply amazing. It can, it can be r really negative, but uh, uh, taken in the totality, this is simply amazing. Uh, that, that when one thinks that everything emerged out of nothing, in the sense that, that nothing extracted itself out of itself and became something, this is the beginning of the sense of logic, and something is not, is not just something, but also something else, and eventually uh, many things. In, in it's it's so amazing that uh, I already said this. I, I would like to share my amazement of, of of the greatness of God as I envision it. There there there, there are dark negative aspects. Uh, of which I am th conscious on a theoretical level, but as long as I can uh, act, think, and breathe, and, 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 and think uh, more or less clearly, I will try to share, not in a reckless manner, in a structured manner, but to share my, my vision of God. And I repeat here, this is not God, this is just a formal uh, <laughs> picture on a, on a computer. <laughs> but if I had to talk to the real God, which I know at some level, uh, he hears me. Uh, whatever I say, have said or say or might say uh, negative, th this process, it's absolutely amazing. This is, and, and a part of me suffers because I have been unable to share my amazement, my wonder with, with an other or with others and, and I would not pretend that I am the good guy because I know myself uh, to have negativity, but I know also that there has it has to be balanced at least by by good, and that that the will to do good in me is the will to share this this amazement, and and eventually to to enable as as many thinking people as many people to 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 at least have a glimpse of of this totality by by not just. Um, by, by trying to understand, uh, yeah, and uh, in some of my uh, moments of thoughts, I said, okay, there are some very uh, dark and, and, and questionable aspects of reality, but if God is really this, 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 this nothingness, this, this pure void, which emerged out of itself by a process which is a, it's, it's not mysterious, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a mystery. I mean, how can being emerged out of nothing, how can the, 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 the pure void, the pure nothing emerged out of itself and bring forth a, 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 an entire universe? And, and I said to myself, and I will uh, still believe this uh, in, in uh, my deepest uh, um, thoughts, in a good sense, that th this entity, uh, which extracted itself out of the nothingness to bring forth an entire world, 
I, I might understand why people might might have a problem with some of, of the aspects of God because uh, I, I have problems. I, I would not pretend that everything is nice and pleasant because it's not. There are uh, there is pain, there is suffering, there is there is trauma, there is negative negativity. Uh, but I said to myself a, a few few months ago already that. whatever has happened or happened or will happen god as as this the will the will of the of the nothingness the will of the void the will of the abyss uh, to, to to make itself manifest uh, it it deserves a respect that cannot be denied the, the will which brought forth this world and the intelligence which structures this world they cannot be questioned there can be questions about good and evil morality but the, the will and the intelligence which brought forth this process uh it's 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 worthy uh, of of respect and, and admiration and uh yeah that's what i had to say <laughs>